as you can tell by the title, yeah, this video is going to be rough for me. But yeah, you guys are going to enjoy this one a lot more. So my biggest L's in school. And now back in the day, I was taking a lot of L's. So I got a lot on the list. I don't I don't know, man. Maybe I could make a part two. And now we're going to start with my elementary school days. Now in elementary school, I was literally just an L person in general. And I just feel bad for people having to be in my presence, which is crazy. I was literally the embodiment of the um actually guy. I was a wise ass. Yeah. You did not want to be around me. Now, I was also the kid that would just try to be funny, but it was just so bad. Like, looking back on it, I, I'm like, I'm just sitting in my bed at 3 a.m. And I'm just like, why the fuck did I do that? I had so many of those moments. It was wild. The teacher was talking about how we would have to use our dictionaries to look at to how to spell words when we're writing. And of course, me, I had to pipe up. Of course I did. Of course, I had to open my fucking mouth. Now, we didn't have the dictionaries, like, directly with us. So, I was like, um, your dictionary. Dictionaries? What do you mean? They're not our dictionaries. What dictionaries are you talking about? You do not know how bad I wanted to fucking put my past self in a goddamn chokehold. Holy shit. Of course, every class had dictionaries. And I look back on it like, really, dude? Like, what the, f what the, f and I thought that joke was gonna be the home run hitter right there. I thought that was gonna make everybody laugh. No, no, nobody laughed. And the teacher was like, who said that? And my stupid ass didn't open my mouth. And I literally started bursting out into tears in front of the entire class. It was just embarrassing. And there were plenty more moments like that in my elementary days. But as we progress, forward in third grade you guys are gonna fucking flame me like I, I i'm not gonna be safe bro the comments the comments might be off on this video no i'm kidding i'm kidding but bro i kid you not one day in the third grade i went commando because i forgot to put on my underwear like i was just such a fucking dumbass like how do you do that and i literally realized when i got on the bus like how in the fuck did i not realize i don't know and people yeah people definitely noticed and it didn't help that the pants I was wearing were kind of loose, like if you didn't tie them. Like I could have just flash banged the class at any fucking moment, bro. And at recess, I had to waddle around when I was trying to run. Like I had to run around like I was about to piss myself. Yeah, man, I was I was really flying around at recess. And I don't know what happened with my brain. My brain must have been off the clock on another fucking planet. Who knows? But anyways, as we progress into the birdie lore, um, we get to the fourth grade. And now the fourth grade at recess one day, I decided I was going to be a show off. You know how every time on the Swings, just a bunch of kids would swing as high as they could and then jump off. Yeah, basically I did that and I swung really high and I jumped so fucking high in the air and I hurt myself really bad. And I started bawling my eyes out in front of everybody. I was like, Aah! and then I was fucking walking to the nurse's office, or not walking, hobbling like a bumbling idiot to the nurse's office. Like, bro did not stick the landing, which is crazy. Bro, my legs were weak, bro. I was not sticking that landing. I thought for some reason that would make me really cool if I swung really high and then just fucking jumped off. I don't know. And as we progress, the L's just continue to get worse and worse. Like high school, it was it was just really bad. And now, of course, I had a crush on this girl who was in eighth grade in middle school. And I was like, all right, bro, I'm a bagger. I got, I really thought I was on that type of timing, but no, no, I was not. One day I just sat down next to her and introduced myself. And hey, that, that took some balls. I'm not gonna lie. So hey, props to my, props to my younger self for doing. But at the same time, I, I embarrassed myself really bad. Like I just decided one, one day, all right, I was gonna sit next to her. I sat down next to her and yeah, let's just say it might as well have been burrito day. Like, I don't know what was cooking in my stomach. I don't know what atrocity was going on in there, but it was about to be World War II in my fucking pants if I didn't go to the bathroom at that very moment. And of course, like as I'm talking and lunch is about to end, I just fucking ripped ass. She was like, what was that smell? And you know, I hit hit him with one of those silent, you know, those silent farts. I really thought I was getting by scot free, but and then she looked at me and asked me if I did it because I kind of scooched over a little bit. I thought somehow like the air would just change direction, but obviously that's not how it works. Anybody in the vicinity can spell your last night's Chipotle dinner. And at first I was gonna be like, ah, no, it was it was this guy over here. Nah. But nah, bro, the truth slipped. And at that moment the bell rang. She said ew and walked away. And in that moment I got up. And I just took the L when the bell rang. And I was like, damn, bro, that is tragic. And I was really playing Marvin's Room in the earbuds. Like, that show was going full volume. And I thought I lost out on true love. But no, ladies and gentlemen, the hope was not up. Hope was not over. There was still a spark of light in the dark tunnel. And eventually, I got in my first middle school relationship. Or, well, it was technically my second. But my first one lasted, like, two weeks. So that doesn't even count. But this girl messaged me. The girl that I was in a relationship with in sixth grade messaged me. 
challenged me in seventh and basically said, oh, hey, there's this girl like that's interested in you. And at first I was like, nah, bro, like, nah, I'm not trying to get in another relationship. I want nothing to do with it. And the reason why I said that is, well, bro, it's just not gonna last. It's so pointless. And eventually I said yes, because I felt bad. Bro, I really had no spine. That's crazy. And as we ventured on into the new beginnings, we had a field trip the next day. And of course, she wanted to sit next to me at the movie theater that we were going to and hold hands. And all my friends were behind me just clowning the fuck out of me. And I've never been clowned more times in my entire life. Because I did tell my friends I was going to sit with them, right? And then I told my friends, eh, well, actually, I have to go sit with my middle school girlfriend. See you guys. Bye. Like, if your friend said that to you and you're in middle school right now, like, you would not take them seriously. You would fucking clown the shit out of them, wouldn't you? Don't lie. Don't lie. But eventually, I got clowned by the entire school when I had my first kiss with this girl. Why? Because the entire school thought she was mid. I got clowned by like my entire gym class. Like one kid went up to me one day and asked like, oh, did you kiss this girl? And I said, yes. And everybody just spread the word. Everyone fucking heard about it. And yeah, it, it was basically raps for my social life at that point. And my friends still make fun of me for it to this day because I just, I really had no spine. It was crazy. And now high school for me, things kind of got complicated. All right. I was not really getting enough sleep at night. All right. I, I was waking up at like fucking 6 a.m. to try to catch the bus or not even uh, early than 6 a.m. I had to get up at like 5 45 if I wanted to catch the bus. So of course one day naturally I was sleeping in class. And now there was this girl that that wasn't very fond of me to be honest. But bro did you really have to say that in front of me? Like it I just could I couldn't believe she had the audacity to say this. So as as she thought I was knocked right like I was knocked out I had the darkest fucking circles. She had the audacity to turn to the kid next and he was like yeah that birdie guy yeah birdie's birdie's like really ugly and i was like whoa whoa like come on bro why why are we throwing shots over here and she was like i would never date somebody that looked like him ew and i was like oh. i was confused because like i never did anything to this girl i was like why is she even saying this like i had no idea that she apparently just hated my guts but i don't know man i guess she did and i was just thinking to myself me personally if i looked like heather from total drama island i would not be talking like that was a lot of smoke coming from somebody that looked like heather crazy and of course that really bruised the ego like I, I had no confidence after that one that one was really rough i'm not gonna lie and maybe even other people in the class heard her say that i don't know now in 11th grade that's when i started my my first youtube channel and now obviously i was on this other channel grinding i, I was putting in the work even though i was getting like 100 views a video and one day in one of my classes it was like some kind of social studies class we basically were talking about careers and what we wanted to do with our lives and you you probably already know where this is going. You guys definitely know where this is going. But anyways, we talk about our careers and what we want to do. Some kids are like, oh yeah, I want to be a doctor or I want to be an accountant. And eventually he asked me, hey, uh, Birdie, what do you want to do with your life? But I've just always wanted to be a YouTuber since I was like nine years old. Like that is just like what I wanted to do from the start. And I was like, if I really put in the work, I think I can do it. I either wanted to edit my own videos and post them or just be a video editor in general. And I will never forget what this motherfucker said. And honestly, this just keeps me motivated to stay grinding and shit like that. He was like, you can't do that. They only make like 30k a year. He was trying to be funny by flaming me in front of the entire class, but you know, obviously it wasn't really that funny. But then this dude decides to look up the salary of a video editor in front of the entire class and he puts it up on the fucking projector. And then he just raves on and on about how they only make 30k a year because he did it by one Google search. And look at this bozo now, bro. I'm cooking. I did it, bro. And I have you guys to thank for that. Seriously, thank you guys you made this all possible you guys made my dream come true and that's just the truth of the matter no matter how cliche it sounds i'm glad that you guys enjoy the videos and you guys are tuning in i really appreciate it want another video to watch watch this video on screen anyways i'm out bye